Good afternoon, I'm Andy Johnson. Welcome to Advertising Week Europe. I am absolutely delighted to say now, with my chippy northern hat on, I've got a man here who comes from the Vegas of the North, Blackpool. Yeah. Blackpool. Welcome. Three peers, one tower. Exactly, exactly. It's Mark Eves from Gravity Road. Um, and today, what an amazing session. What would, or what could, Donald do? Mr. Trump, possibly, God help us, President Trump to be. Tell us about the session. Trumping social. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think we thought it was time. Love him, loathe him, fear the future of global geopolitics to take a moment to see, actually just look at how he's killing it on social media, really. He, he, he's got by far away the biggest social following. He's got about 15 million followers. He is good at it. He breaks all the rules, um, and he seems to he seems to bounce back from every outrageous thing he does. Yes. He, we thought yeah. he'd have sunk by now, but um, he's still going. Man. Yeah. Teflon man, a kind of sort of very bronzed Teflon. Bronzed Teflon kind of with varnished Teflon. With strange hair Teflon. Kind of you probably know. about as yeah yeah I, I guess so so. Um, uh, but it, successful it was fun. at social Teflon. Let's be well, honest. Well, well, I mean, he is he is. A better, and he and his team, and actually, you know, he, he has a social media manager who's a kid in his twenties, who, who who's you know making all of this social content, short Instagram videos, uh, aimed at Hillary Clinton, uh, you know, completely outrageous but hilarious to watch, and and he just seems sort of built for the internet. So I, I don't think you can parody it. It's very hard to parody. You know, no matter how uncomfortable we might feel about this, whether it's individually or as an industry, I mean, are the things we should be learning from what he's doing and what his team uh, are doing, do you think? Well, I, I, yeah, probably, probably. I, I think if you take it back to the, our industry, the advertising industry, and, and, and you look at brands and how they're grappling with how to create content for social, and I'm sure there's no shortage of sessions mm boring everyone about that. Um, the reality of it is um, you don't need much. You just need some bright people who understand the platform and understand the subtlety difference of an Instagram video versus a Vine and how to, how to tweet. We had, we had David Wilding from Twitter on, on the stage with us and, you know, he, Donald Trump, he answers tweets, he responds to stuff. He's, he's in there, you know. Um, He's happy Probably not in a very measured spats. sort of nuanced way, in fairness, but he still responds to them. No, it's it's a new take on offensive marketing, <laughs> I, I, I think. Um, and and I, I don't think there's many brands that would want to go down that path for good reason. But, you know, you do have the odd one, which which, which seems happy, happy in a controversial, morally questionable approach to marketing. It's like... Um, Protein world, you know, beach body ready. You know that that is a campaign which is sort of probably from the Trump playbook. Yeah, there is one. Yeah, if, yeah. It, 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 it fills me with horror that there could be a Trump playbook. Well, yeah, horribly. By the way. But, horribly um, so. but, but we just we thought it was important to kind of meet it head on and have a look at it and see see why. Uh, and what kind of reaction so well. did you get? Because it was fun. It was, I guess, as you say, it's it's not got any particular great message you're trying to send out there, like maybe some sessions have done. But it, it does get people focused, doesn't it, on, on what's yeah, happening at the I moment? Mean, what, I mean, what I mean, can be go, done. Go, you know, the, the problem with our in industry advertising is there's no shortage of people theorising about social platforms and what you do on them. But actually, it's out, people who are out there actually doing it hour by hour. The Trump camp is doing that. They're, they're learning far more in the wild than a large brand who's sat in strategy meetings uh, working out what you know with. 17 people around crafting a tweet um, and, and actually the, st the structure the behavior the the the, the, the skill set uh, that's needed for, for um, a type of behavior I think I think the world of entertainment I think the world of publishing have kind of got cracked I think the world of advertising aren't quite as nimble as that um, so actually while we're focusing on a very specific point we, we think there's actually some bigger lessons for the for the industry and how are things at the moment at gravity road what are you working on what are you most excited about looking forward at the moment very good thanks so we, we, we we're looking to be advertising weeks 
uh, uh, agency, so we spend lots of time with, with Matt, which has been hilarious. Uh, and yeah, we, we were, uh, we're one of the independent, smaller guys here. We're, we're only, only four and a half years old. So, so we kind of speak with a slightly different, different voice, I think, um, and, and, and one that's um, hopefully a bit more candid about, about the way things are. Um, but but, but it, 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 it is interesting. I think the move to this venue has been spectacular. It feels more fun. Place people want to hang out. I, th I think, I think um, uh, this uh, this should be a celebration. It should entertainment is important, and I think um, things that you, you know we always say Gravity Road. Our, our job is to create things that people want to spend time with, and it's no more complicated than that. Do you know what I'd like to see you do? Go I'd back like to Blackpool. To, go back to Blackpool. No, not you personally. I'd, well, I mean, feel free. What a great place to go back I'll to. Pop back. Take Just for the weekend. President Trump to Blackpool and put that out on as many platforms as you can. Yeah. How do you think that would go down? Actually, could Blackpool just, just, cope with just, Donald just, Trump? Just, could Donald it, Trump cope with Blackpool? Probably. He'd, do, he'd play quite well there, I think. It's sort of like a, a kind of, kind of, it's the world of Ben and Manning, isn't it? It's that horror. Yes. There was a very that. interesting discussion on the panel, which was, who's the British equivalent of Donald Trump? And we came to the conclusion, Holly Walsh, who's a great comedian who was on there as well, kind of said it's some sort of hybrid of um, Katie Hopkinson, or Hopkins, um, and um, uh, uh, Jeremy Clarkson. So, 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 so we were saying, what would, uh, what would it be, and, uh, and David Dickinson? So if, oh. that, 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 that might be the hybrid. Uh, oh. But, but pose the question: What 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 Jeepers would happen? Chips. What would happen if uh, Jeremy Clarkson ran for prime minister here? And and, and you know, it could, me. could happen. It could me. happen, couldn't it? On that thought, <laughs> we'd better end it there, haven't we? Because we're going to we're can't either going to depress that. ourselves even more, that. or I don't know I can't what we're going to do. But lovely to meet you. Thank you very much for coming in. You too. Enjoy the rest of the week. Thank you, everybody. Let's hope we don't get to President Trump, and let's hope we don't get Prime Minister Clarkson, but who knows, he's a stranger. He's gone. He can't stand it any longer, look. He's running away from us. Stay with us. Stay with the conversation. Hashtag AWEurope. Off you go. go Thank on. you.